clever. You can say whatever you want, Paris. Hi, this is <laughs> Paris Bosserman and... Mixed Media Girl. Yay. Marcy. Marcy. Otherwise Marcy. known as. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I taught Paris how to acrylic pour. And these are our paintings that I did. Now, Paris is like a hipster sailboater dude. Yeah, hipster <laughs> sailboater, um, entrepreneur, yeah. slash videographer, slash everything. Exactly. So he wanted to put these on his boat. Um, yeah. So I think we should resin them so they're a little more protected than, uh, you know, than just doing the varnish. So we're going to mix up some resin here. Have I done resin before? Yeah, you did that big Oh yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I did resin over there. Yeah. That's right. You should go grab it and show everybody. Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah, he'll show you I'm his dry. Very happy with the way it turned out. Let's see. Can you see it? Here, I'll hold it up. Yeah, you can see the whole thing. Oh yeah, right there. <clears throat> Love the way that turned out. Yeah. Let's tilt it so maybe they can see the shine. There it is. You can see the shine. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. Love the way that turned so out. So that was resin. That was Paris's first resin. So if he can do it, you can do it. That's my new motto. If, if Paris can I do can it, do it, you can do it. Can do I am it. an artist. I mean, I, I draw and that's about it. So I don't paint. I've never painted. You're a bassist, right? This was the first painting I ever made. I'm a bass player. I had a band. It was called Love Hate Hero and we toured the world and we had a record deal and all that good stuff. Yeah. So that was like my forte. That was my thing. Um, <clears throat> but now I love just any form of art and YouTube. So mm. YouTube yeah. is my thing now. So if any of you don't know, he has a YouTube channel. Um, so we'll put the link in the description and everything. Now I just really invite him over so that he can mix up all this stuff because it gets really tiring. Uh, but anyways. And while she's mixing it. Oh, you mean the, the No, you're going to do all part. the stirring. Oh, the stirring, yeah. <laughs> um, I got to work out. This arm is a lot bigger than this one because of the last uh, mixing that I did. Yeah. With Mixed Media Girl. <laughs> right. Keeping it clean. Okay. Um, so, this is Stone Coat Countertops um, Art Coat Resin, guys. And it is for paintings. Specifically, so you wouldn't use this to do like your countertops or furniture or casting or anything else. And by casting, we don't mean fishing. We mean or making you. something in a mold. Um, so yeah, this is the art coat. And we're going to take these two paintings that we did. We told, I totally got sidetracked. <laughs> these two paintings that we did a couple weeks ago because he's going to put them on his boat was how that all started. Yep. So the resin will make it more durable, I think, than the varnish, because then you won't really have to worry too much about maybe water possibly getting on it or moisture in the air and whatnot. So yeah. stir like your life depends on it. You got to get down into the little cracks here at the very bottom. Let's see. Let's read the directions here. You're going to mix thoroughly for two minutes. Okay. I like to do 10 minutes because I like to get my workout in. Oh, well, that's Just a good kidding. point, no, I'm too. Gonna do, I'm going to do two minutes. You could actually do ten, though. With this, with the art coat, you've got 45 minutes or so of working time. Generally, actually, at least like an hour. So that's the cool thing about the art resin. Most other resins, you're going to have maybe like 15 minutes of work time. So that's something really cool about this. Sweet. Okay. And I haven't been watching you, so I'm not sure if you did this correctly, but let me see. So we scrape the sides, guys. You always want to scrape the sides and make sure you get anything on the bottom <clears throat> and then stir. I want, I want you to comment below if you saw me scraping the sides. Did you? She just didn't see it. I said let, I wasn't watching. Let us watching. know if I was uh, doing it <laughs> properly or not. I'm sure he was. Okay. <laughs> so I think we're good here. We're probably at a minute and a half. Really? I'll okay. just do a little bit more. Do a little more. Yeah. Everybody count down I want from this 30. to turn out <laughs> real good. I'm like, you know. So here, I'll hold these up so everyone can see in case you didn't see them before. So, very exciting. And we're just going to show you how to coat these. Now, if you were to have used silicone in your painting, this is very important. You have got to wash it off. 
Resin will not stick to silicone. It will look horrible. Don't do it. So we didn't use any silicone, but if you did, you have to thoroughly wash it off. I have washed mine with alcohol and then varnished it. I have never used a painting with silicone, done a painting with silicone and then resined it. So there are other videos from other artists on that that um, you can probably check out. I personally have never done that because I haven't used silicone for many, many, <clears throat> many months. All right, so you always start in the middle. And we definitely mixed up more than we're going to need here. But we'll start in the middle. And then basically you're going to push it out to the sides. It already looks so much better. <laughs> Look at that. I love that the way the colors are already popping. Yeah. Oh, exciting. you don't you don't do just like the You can. You use your hands. Huh? But I use my hands. It's much easier. Plus you don't really want to run a bunch of it off cuz then you're just going to waste it. Um Good Yeah. Point. I just use my hands. On a bigger project, you could use like a trowel or something like that. Um, and there's definitely different tools for this. I probably use this. Yeah, you tool. can. He's afraid to use his hands. I just even you, you know, have gloves on, you know. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> just kidding. Didn't forget. Didn't forget. Don't worry. So, yeah, you gotta make sure you get the edges, everything, and. It's better to be more liberal with your resin than not, because you don't want to have too little. But that's why we kind of do this little by little. And you're going to want it about an eighth inch coat on there. Sweet. And make sure you definitely get all the sides. I just want people to have two options. You're the, you're the one that uses your hands. I'm the one that uses the stick. Totally so fine. So you know, anyone that's watching this knows they can do it either way. Just... So I'm done. He'll be oh. done in about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. Um, but while he is doing that, I will show you guys a couple examples of things you can use. Because this was a good opportunity for that. One second. I should have given you this earlier, huh? So there's this tool. <laughs> <laughs> which is for resin specifically or similar products and you just use it to move it around and then if you're doing a bigger project or something on wood uh, you can use a metal trowel you want to be careful with this on canvas though because you can definitely poke right through your canvas and that would be really sad This isn't the ideal setup, but I'm working on another project under this. I feel like I'm going really slow. Am I going really slow? No, you're fine. You're fine. I was just teasing. Just teasing. The video is going to be like 45 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out, right? Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> we always plan on doing like a 5 or 10 minute video, and it's always... The, the shortest one, I think, was about 45 minutes now. Yeah, maybe. So... And for anyone wondering, we're not going to leave it on this plastic. I'm going to put it up on my little table tent things, table tripods. I'm not totally sure what they're called, but. Table pods. Yeah. And um, I'm sure I'm going to get questions on the underneath part because you will have drips. So there's a couple things you could do. One, you could tape it off, which we didn't do. Two, you could kind of baby it and kind of just wipe it, right? I'll get you some. Sweet. And then uh, lastly is just when it's dry, you can either um, take like a razor and get it off or a sander and get it off either way. So let's put these up on here and then we're going to torch these. I think that's sort of good. Hope we're still on the camera front. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sure we are. Can you guys see that? If not, can? Live. Okay, good. <laughs> He's a goofball. Okay, so now we're going to torch these and then, and then that's it. We're done. We leave it and it'll dry within about 24 hours. And then so why, do you, why do you torch it? 
Okay, torch it to get the air bubbles out. Oh, okay, good, Otherwise, I can see some air bubbles in here. Yeah, with resin, they will dry in there. And, like, unlike with acrylic pouring, where you don't have to torch it, with resin, you really do. Oh, my gosh. It literally took... Flatten it There was up. a thousand little air bubbles, and they instantly popped, every mm -hmm. single one of them. That was really cool. Yeah. I think you can hit this one one more time. Just a couple little spots. Yeah. And for anyone who hasn't done any of the torching or anything before, you just need to go quickly over it. Otherwise, you can totally burn your resin. And that's sad. All right. So, I think I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a close-up. Close-up time. So this is Paris's. Look at those killer colors. And you can see how the resin uh, just makes the colors pop. And also, of course, makes it nice and shiny. We have a little something there. There you go. Got that. And here is mine. Do the little angle there. Look at that gloss. Right? That gloss is like gorgeous so it will dry just like that nice and glossy okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you can see how simple it is to coat your painting with resin it definitely adds a little something extra to it definitely adds towards your sales value totally. as well um so don't forget to check out stone coats website it's down in the description and there's a discount code as well if you want to try out their resin and their other amazing products, uh, check out Paris's channel and give him a little subscribe <laughs> and a notify button. Yeah, leave me pressed. a comment too, and uh, I always reply to all my comments, so I'm I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Yeah, and otherwise, of course, if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell down there so you see the videos coming up. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Sweet. <laughs> That was cool. Peace out. Oh, you did it. Peace out. There we go. Now it's done. <laughs>